properties uh, which shows the relation between the forward backward and shifting operator so the first property is that to that the forward operator delta is equal to e minus 1 okay so we know that the forward operator of f of x is equal to f of x plus h minus f of x okay and uh, this is what left hand side this is you can say left hand side on the right hand side e minus 1 f of x is equal to the shifting operator is e f of x minus f of x so the shifting operator e f of x is what f of x plus h minus f of x this is what rhs and from lhs and rhs we can sh show that from since lhs is equal to rhs and therefore the forward operator delta is equal to e minus 1 next show that second the backward difference operator del is equal to 1 minus e raised to minus 1 again the backward operator del f of x is equal to f of x minus f of x minus h and 1 minus e raised to minus 1 f of x is equal to f of x minus e raised to minus 1 f of x so here e raised to minus 1 f of x is equal to f of x minus f of x minus h and therefore this is what lhs and this is rhs and therefore from from lhs and rhs since lhs is equal to rhs we can show see that show that uh, from this we can uh, see, uh, we can say that the backward operator del is equal to 1 minus e raised to minus 1 now the next property number 3 is prove that the forward operator delta and plus backward operator del is equal to forward operator delta divided by backward operator del minus backward operator del divided by forward operator delta so here now consider rhs rhs it is forward operator delta divided by backward operator minus backward operator divided by forward operator now from the previous two properties here what the forward operator is equal to e minus 1 and backward operator is equal to 1 minus e raised to minus 1 by using this two value we can if we put here the forward of the value of forward operator is e minus 1 and the backward operator is 1 minus e raised to minus 1 minus the backward operator is 1 minus e raised to minus 1 divided by uh, the forward operator is e minus 1 e minus 1 again if we simplify this we know that this is e minus 1 divided by 1 minus uh, 1 by e okay and minus this is equal to 1 minus 1 by e divided by e minus 1 if we simplify this if we simplify this it is equal to e minus 1 divided by e minus 1 divided by e minus e minus 1 divided by e this whole divided by e minus 1 so now this e minus 1 e minus 1 will get cancelled here and 1 divided by 1 by e is e similarly uh, if we simplify this it is e minus 1 divided by e into e minus 1 so here e minus 1 e minus 1 will get cancelled here get cancelled here and 1 upon e is equal to e raised to minus 1 now since the, the value of forward operator del, delta is equal to e minus 1 implies the value of e is forward operator plus 1 
Similarly, what is the uh, backward operator del? The backward operator del is 1 minus e raised to minus 1. The backward operator del is equal to 1 minus e raised to minus 1 and therefore e raised to minus 1 is equal to 1 minus del. So if we put the value of e raised to minus 1 is 1 minus backward operator and the value of e is forward operator plus 1 then it is equal to the delta plus 1 minus e raised to minus 1 is 1 minus del. So here this plus 1 minus 1 will get cancelled here and because of this minus sign minus minus become plus so the forward operator plus backward operator is del okay and this is what our left hand side so we start from the um, we start from RHS and from RHS we can show that this RHS is equal to LHS now the next property property number 4 4 show that 1 plus forward operator delta and 1 minus backward operator del is equal to 1 so again okay. now consider left hand side here LHS now 1 plus forward operator delta and 1 minus backward operator del f of x is equal to 1 plus forward operator delta inside the bracket f of x minus del f of x so this is equal to this is equal to 1 plus delta inside the bracket f of x minus del f of x is f of x minus f of x minus h okay this whole bracket completed now this f of x and minus f of x will get cancelled here because of this minus sign minus minus become plus so it is equal to 1 plus forward operator delta into f of x minus h now uh, if we multiply uh, if we simplify this again then it is f of x minus h plus forward operator delta f of x minus h now this is equal to f of x minus h plus the the forward operator is f of x plus h that is f of x minus h plus h next value minus the previous value that is f of x minus h so here this f of x minus h f of x minus h will get cancelled here this plus h and minus h will get cancelled here and the answer is what f of x so and therefore 1 plus forward operator delta and 1 minus backward operator del f of x is equal to f of x from this we can say that from this we can say that the 1 plus delta forward operator delta into 1 minus backward operator del is equal to 1 is equal to 1 now next next property number next property here the next property is show that next property maybe 5 5 or 6 show that the forward operator delta minus backward operator del is equal to delta del okay so here uh, find the left hand side here left hand side is forward operator delta minus backward operator del f of x is equal to forward operator delta f of x minus backward operator del f of x so this is equal to the forward operator delta is equal to f of x plus h minus f of x and the backward operator del is equal to f of x minus f of x minus h this is equal to now this is equal to f of x plus h this minus f of x minus f of x become becomes minus 2 f of x and minus minus become plus so it is f of x minus h so this is the value of uh, forward operator delta minus backward operator del f of x now consider say this equation number one 
now consider the right hand side uh, right hand side is uh, forward operator delta into backward operator del so delta del of f of x is equal to delta of del f of x and which is equal to the backward operator of f of x is f of x plus x um, f of x f of uh, x minus f of x minus h now apply the forward operator delta so if we apply forward operator delta then this is delta f of x minus delta f of x minus h so this is equal to delta f of x is f of x plus h f of x plus h minus f of x and the backward operator del is f of x minus h minus f of x minus h uh, f of x minus h minus h bracket completed so this is equal to um, this is equal to something f of x minus f of x minus h this is delta f of x plus h sorry it is what forward operator delta so this is equal to the forward operator delta is next value that is f of f of uh, x minus h plus h minus f of x minus h okay so this plus h minus h will get cancelled here so this is equal to f of x plus h minus f of x minus f of x minus minus plus f of x minus h so this is equal to f of x plus h minus 2 times f of x plus f of x minus h say so this is equation number 2 now from 1 and 2 1 is what f of x plus h minus 2 f of x plus f of x minus h and 2 is f of x plus h minus 2 f of x f of x minus h from this equation 1 and 2 we can say that from 1 and 2 we can say that the forward operator delta minus backward operator del is equal to forward operator delta into backward operator del now next one more property is there property number maybe uh, say 6 here the show that the shifting operator e into backward uh, operator del is equal to the forward operator delta so again from the left, left hand side we know that the shifting of consider e del f of x this is equal to e times the backward operator del f of x so it is f of x minus f of x minus h so this is equal to now apply the shifting operator e f of x minus e f of x minus h so this is equal to now e f of x is equal to f of x plus h minus f of x minus h plus h because of if we apply the shifting operator this plus h minus h will get cancelled here and it is equal to f of x plus h minus f of x is equal to this is what delta f of x forward operator delta f of x and therefore e del f of x is equal to delta f of x and from this we can say that the e del uh, e del is equal to forward operator delta okay so thank you